Hey guys, it's Rob Sleep, back with Paperless Humans. Welcome to episode 32 of this free not for course. So in this episode, we're going to cover all the updates that the app has had in the last five to six weeks now. Note 4, version 1.2.31, added motion smoothing for the fountain and brush pens. It ranges from zero, if you already like the writing experience in the app, all the way to six. This just adds some elasticity to the pen tool. And I found between three to four works best for me. Version 1.2.34 brought enhanced sensitivity. This is to solve a Bluetooth latency issue that caused some users to notice a change in the pen stroke when they lifted the Apple Pencil. The developers recommend keeping this option turned on. If you see broken lines, you either have a faulty Apple Pencil or you're probably using the M2 iPads. To solve that, the developers have added the draw on hover option in version 1.2.37. After we did the tape feature, the developers updated the app to add more customization options for it. Now the tape has more color options. Version 1.2.36 now lets you cover or reveal all the tape in your document. In this version, taking screenshots is now easier as well. You still have the option to choose the size of the image. Or share it. Or you can just add to canvas to add that screenshot to your page. Another change in version 1.2.36 is that the text box now supports stickers. You can access your iPadOS stickers from your keyboard in Note 4. And tapping on one adds it to the page. This then has all the other features you get for your pages where you can resize and rotate your stickers in the app. Note 4 1.2.39 is the latest update, which now lets you arrange items on your page. And you can arrange them whether you want them at the back or in front of other items on the page. You can also group multiple items you select. When you select items that were grouped together, you can ungroup them. 
And the last update is that we can now rotate our images directly without using the style option. And that concludes this course for now. Hopefully you found it helpful and that we covered everything. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you for watching. See you in a different course.